Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com and today I am making the ultimate brunch BLT. We're going to fry up some eggs, make these gorgeous roasted tomatoes and tomatillos, add some bacon of course, lightly dressed arugula, a little bit of hot sauce, we're going to pop the tops on, cut our sandwiches in half, and eat the bite. So let me show you how to make it. At the beginning of the process you should cook the bacon, then transfer it to a paper towel lined plate but save the pan with the bacon grease because we're going to use it later to cook the eggs. I made these roasted tomatoes the day before and I set them on the counter so they'll be room temperature by the time we put the sandwiches together. All you have to do is cut your tomatoes in half, pull out the seeds, and cook at 400 degrees for one hour with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I also made these roasted tomatillos the day before and all you have to do with these is cut them in half, cook them with olive oil, salt and pepper for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. It's up to you whether you want to use the tomatoes or the tomatillos or both. I'm shredding a little bit of gruyere or cheese for this and I'll set that aside when it's done. With more traditional BLTs, iceberg lettuce would be used, but I'm going another way and using arugula. I've washed my lettuce and stored it in a bag with some damp paper towels, and I'm going to pull out two small handfuls, one for each sandwich. Then I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the lettuce, a splash of balsamic vinegar as well, and if you don't have balsamic vinegar, just use olive oil and a pinch of salt. Then toss together to coat like you see here. For the bread, I'm using this awesome sliced French bread from Neshoba Brook Bakery in Concord, Massachusetts, and this BLT works best with a high quality bread. I also like using a round loaf with larger oval slices, so I have the option to serve this BLT as a half sandwich with other things on the side. So choose your bread wisely. And it is optional, but if you want to give your sandwich a little kick, you can add whatever kind of hot sauce you want. I usually have all three of these on hand, and if you don't want that spice, just skip it. We're going to spread a very thin layer of soft butter on one side of each slice of bread like you see here. While I'm buttering the bread, I've got two pans heating up with a tiny bit of olive oil, and once the pan is heated, I am going to place the bread buttered side down. And with bread this size, you can see why it takes two pans to get the job done. And I'll press gently on the bread to get it started, but then I'm going to switch to a spatula to gently press the bread so we can make sure it gets crispy and golden brown in the cooking process. After that, we'll put a little bit of that cheese on what will be the top slice of each sandwich, and it should cook a few more minutes to melt the cheese and crisp up our bread. And of course, if you'd like, you can lift the bread as it's cooking to see how round it is and let it cook to whatever your crunchy preference is. I also turned the slices without cheese over just to cook for maybe a minute or two. Then we'll remove the bread from the pan, fry our eggs, and assemble the sandwiches. I heated up the pan that I cooked the bacon in, so I'm frying the eggs right in the bacon fat. Make sure the pan is nice and hot before you crack the eggs in. After the eggs are cracked, I do like to break the yolk with my spatula because I prefer a mostly cooked through yolk on my sandwich. I spread out the yolks a bit across the white of the egg with my spatula, and once they're cooked to my liking, I gave them a flip, and after you flip them, you really only need to let them cook a couple more seconds in the pan. Next, I remove the eggs from the pan, and you do want to season your eggs with a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Once you've done that, it's time to assemble our sandwiches. First, we'll place two eggs on the bottom slice of bread for both sandwiches. Next, the roasted tomatoes. One tomato slice on top of each egg. After that, the roasted tomatillos. And again, this is optional to use both, but I love the combination. So I'm going to add a few of the tomatillo slices to each side of the sandwich on top of the tomatoes. And you'll have extra red tomatoes and tomatillos, which is great. You can use them in a salad or another sandwich. Next, we'll get those bacon strips on there, two for each sandwich, or if you want to use more bacon, use more bacon. Now we'll add our lightly dressed arugula. And if you're in the mood for a kick, you can add a little drizzle of sriracha on top of that cheese. We'll put the tops on our sandwiches. We're going to cut them in half. And now let's take a closer look at the Ultimate Brunch BLT. This sandwich is bursting with flavors and because we've used larger bread slices, you can serve two people or four people. If you're serving half sandwiches, you can always make some potatoes on the side like my lemony herby roasted fingerling potatoes. I do hope you give this one a try, it's so delicious. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.